Hello, and welcome to the Future Proof Podcast. This is our monthly podcast where we talk about what we've been doing, anything cool we're intending. I'm Gregory Avery Weir. And I'm Melissa Avery Weir. And Gregory did a fun bug, bug fix related to something we talked about in our last episode. Yeah, so we, we mentioned that there was an issue with uh, our, our first release, our first commercial release, Ossuary, which we hadn't updated in years, but uh, we had a report from a person that it was going really sluggishly when moving diagonally. And uh, I don't remember if, if last time we had fully diagnosed it yet, but we had not. it's uh, okay. We talked about it tur- bin rot and all sorts of interesting things, yeah. but we... <laughs> it turns out it was a bug that seemed to have been in there the whole time. I'm not sure why it didn't why we didn't notice it, why we didn't get more reports about it. But um, long story short, every time you took a step, it was saving your game. And (laughs) when you were moving diagonally, I think that was happening twice as much. Um, So removing that entirely and and having it save in a different way uh, fixed that a whole lot. Um, Yeah. And so we, we got that update out, and we've already had people be like, holy crap, I can play this game now, but I couldn't before, which is which is cool. It was it, It's it's nice to fix a bug and have people say, oh, thank you so much for fixing this bug. Yeah, yeah. But in the process, uh, since it had been <laughs> years since we'd done releases, uh, on top of the normal, like, wait, how does how do we build Ossuary again? I'm pulling out Flash Develop, which is a program that I haven't used in a while. And it's in SVN instead of Git, right? Yeah, yeah. So like, it's in a different <laughs> source control system. Yeah, right. We haven't we haven't used SVN for anything in a since Ossuary, I think. When, as soon as we started, Possibly, yeah. As soon as we started Exploit Zero Day, we switched very quickly. So yeah, it was wild. But yeah, as, as a result of that, Steam achievements were broken for a week or so, um, a little less than a week. And uh, it was just a matter of us being able to find the time to go in there, build it correctly, and uh, and test it and get it out. That's that's fixed now, so Ossuary runs better than probably it ever has, and <laughs> you can still get Chivos. Yes. So, that's nice. Speaking of achievements... Oh, yeah. We... How's that for a segue? <laughs> we have... Uh, we participated in the bundle. Yeah, so... In response to um, the war, <laughs> the I don't know if there's a name for it, but the Russian-Ukrainian the Russian invasion of Ukraine, Necrosoft hosts, set up a bundle on itch. It's in the similar vein as the bundle for racial equality um, and the uh, bundle for for Palestine where a whole bunch of us creators could sort of pitch in our games and participate there. And in, I think it was, it might have only been a week, maybe slightly longer. They raised $6.4 million. Um, There were 998 items in the bundle, four of which were ours. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So there were a bunch of mostly games. Uh, Mm -hmm. Most of the games were video games, but a bunch of tabletop stuff. And then like, some asset packs of of tiles for to make your own games and some comic books and stuff like that. Yeah, so 736 creators pitched in that that 6.4 million went to the International Medical Corps and Voices for Children. Um and International Medical Corps is is sort of a broadly known long-standing organization, but Voices of Children is actually a Ukrainian organization that helps children cope and recover from things like this. So it felt really good to participate. And um, and yeah, so if you purchased the bundle for your crane, then you own all of our games that are on itch.io. So that's... Yeah, all the it? commercial ones. All the commercial all ones, the right. for pay ones. Yes, they they definitely request, I think reasonably so, that people don't put their free stuff in the bundle. Because um, that's just kind of a weird bloaty thing to do. Yes, so you own Ossuary, Majesty of Colors, and both Rosette Diceless books. So that's cool. We hope you enjoy if you have them and that you feel good about contributing to a good cause. So as a, a little bit of housekeeping... 
we recently made a little update to an open source project that we developed. Yeah, so we've been uh, quietly releasing Django Press Kit for years now, I think. Yeah. Uh, press Kit, so when you're promoting yourself as a, as a video game company, it's really handy to have a page that someone can go to that's just like, here's all the information about the, the, com- the company, like specifically journalists are interested in this like Mm -hmm. pictures of the team and what's the history of this thing what other games have they made what's the information about the games where can i find all the trailers all of that stuff is just really handy for media people to have or anyone who wants to write about your work and there's a great uh php application called do press kit which is uh created by rami ismail who's a, a colleague of ours and we Liked it, but our sites all run uh, on Django, a framework that's different from PHP. So we made a an app inspired by Rami's press kit in Django for, for people who run Django sites. And it, uh, it provides a little bit of a... They're more accessible like editors. You can, you can go into the, the admin of your Django site and actually use forms to control it as opposed to the, the PHP solution, which involved editing data files. It's convenient to use. And it's just a thing that we periodically have to make sure is working on modern versions of the framework and, and that, that any security issues with any packages we use have been, have been cleared up and that sort of thing. So we, we put out a new release that has updated dependencies and there will be a link to it in the show notes, or you can just look for Django Press Kit on Pipey if you yep. if you know the Python ecosystem. <laughs> yeah, so if you already use it, make sure you pull the update. Um, if you don't currently use it and are interested, definitely look it up. Feel free to ask us any questions. If you have trouble getting it set up or configuring it, we are available to help. So... If you're interested in that or any of the rest of our stuff, you can find it all at futureproofgames.com. Our Twitter handle is playfutureproof, and we're on YouTube if you search for Futureproof Games. You can ask us any questions you have or give us comments on our work, on our blog, or anywhere on social media you can find us. Our theme music is Juparo by Broke for Free, which is used with permission. (laughs) 